In this video, we need to be design an adder or a subtractor by making the use of 4-bit binary adder, okay? And some external gate, you can take it out for this. And you need to perform addition when c is, uh, c is equal to 0. And you have to perform A minus B. It means subtraction, okay? Whenever C is equal to the 1. And you have to find it out whether overflow is there or not. So, we will start from the overflow, okay? We will go in the depth of the overflow. After that, we will design this circuit, okay? Come back to the concept of the overflow. We know that sign magnitude form of there. Uh, so number system having one representation called sign magnitude where first bit of the number is represent the sign. After that, it will be tells about the magnitude of the number system. Okay. So suppose one one is there. If we are in the sign magnitude, the first bit tell about whether it is a positive number or negative number. Rest two number will tell the uh, what is the strength of this number, magnitude of this number okay so here 0 1 1 is there so it is going to be 3 so if 1 is there so 1 is for uh, uh, negative and uh, 0 is for the positive number okay so it represent minus 3 okay so what is the range of the sign magnitude that is minus 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 to 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 okay so this is the range so why this range is important whenever some addition uh, is going to be performed or subtraction is performed which is out of the range then overflow is considered okay so here i am taking the example of the three bit okay so two raised to power minus three minus one minus one two two raised to power two raised to power minus three minus one minus one so you will get minus three two plus three so for a three bit number this uh, representation there is the range of this uh, so whatever whatever the result if it is there lie within the range then it is okay if it is some somehow it is going outside then it uh, it need to be check it out okay overflow is there we need to be take the precautions or the additional uh, circuitry we need to be designed okay so suppose we need to be add two numbers okay plus two and plus three so plus two zero one zero okay in the sign magnitude plus three is one one and you will get one zero one okay so for this one zero one whatever the output you are taking minus one represent for the negative number and rest the magnitude so what exactly this is uh, talking about it is telling minus two is the answer although we we are not looking towards the minus 2 actually we are looking towards the plus 5 because plus 2 plus 3 that is going to be plus 5 but actually it is performing minus 2 okay so for this condition something is called overflow okay and one uh, one more thing you need to be kept in mind two's complement form is something different from this is sign magnitude form okay in two's complement form the range is not going to be like this this minus 1 is not there so for 2's complement, 2 raised to the power n minus 1, 2, 2 raised to the power n minus 1, minus 1. This is the 2's complement, okay, range. Now come back to the when same sign magnitude numbers are added, okay, then or exceed the range, cause the condition of the overflow. Same thing, whatever I earlier explained. If you have two numbers and they are crossing their range, so first we need to be check it out whether we are in the within the range or not. If we going outside, we need to be take some precautions for that. Okay. Now come back to the hardware implementation part. Okay. Whenever you are adding two numbers, okay, plus two, three, plus two, we are going to add it. Uh, we are going to be added these two numbers okay if 1 plus 0 is going to be 1 again 1 1 this is going to be 1 0 0 1 is going to be carry forward okay again 1 plus 0 plus 0 that is going to be 1 and uh, so uh, again out uh, out is c out is 0 only okay so there is one method to find it out how the overflow is created or not that is simply taking the xor okay so you can just xor the scene whatever the and, and the, this is the most significant bit so whatever the carry forward towards the msb and what is carry forward after the, uh, after the addition you need to be xor if this is one this is zero okay and uh, then it we can say that the overflow is there suppose this is carries forward is zero some condition is like this zero and one one is there we need to be at again one zero is there so in this case the output is coming c out is one and the scene is going to be zero again you need to be perform the xor in between these two numbers so whenever c in and c out is xored okay this is the uh, output of the addition and this is the most significant carry okay if we will do the exoring of this one this will provide the overflow if zero is there no overflow if one is there overflow is there got it so if overflow is there we need to be take care during the performing the arithmetic operations okay there is some another method also if uh, suppose zero zero is there 
it means positive number is there if zero is coming here it means everything is okay but if this is zero zero it means positive numbers are there and answer is coming negative it means that you need to be check it out overflow is there and a similarly one one is there and it zero is coming outside then it is considered as again overflow okay if x is zero zero x y these are the most significant bit of two numbers okay i am considering this x and this is y if both are zero and z is one then overflow is there again if x is one y is one and z is coming zero again overflow is there so you can generate one function this is f is equal to x bar y bar z plus x y z bar okay you need to be consider this thing got it hope you will understand this thing now if you once you understand how you can implement the overflow function you need to be know what is the solution of the overflow once you realize that overflow is there how you can resolve this okay so simply you can increase the number of bits okay if three bits are there simply you increase the number of bits in this way you can increase the range of the number okay if you increase the range of this number so this is going to be minus seven to the uh this is uh plus seven okay this is the range where it lies got it so you have two method to find out out the overflow and how you can uh, resolve the overflow issue okay now come back to our problem so we have given that we need to be check it out whether overflow is there or not and we need to be perform subtraction or addition depends on the what is the c1 okay c1 simply here this is c c port is there so we need to put where this c port is allowing whether it is zero or one we need to be check it out okay so again we already know that we need to perform a plus b either we need to perform a plus b or we need to perform a minus b it means a is going to be positive in all the cases okay so simply these are the full adders okay i am taking full adder f a1 this is the f a this is first this is f a2 and this is f a3 this is f a4 these are the four adders i am using over here okay and uh, first this is i am going to be take this thing so i am going to put a zero over here again a1 this is a2 again a3 so these are the numbers because this is going to be positive anyhow hai na but we need to be select whether b is going to be positive or negative based on the this c is, what is c okay so i am what i'm why need what we can do simply i already told you in the previous lectures that xor gate is something where if you will provide a as a variable suppose he is using here so i am changing the name instead of a x i am putting a over here and now suppose you are putting zero so zero if whenever xor with x you are going to provide x but if you provide one then you are going to be provide x bar any complement of this number okay so if i will xor this thing this is the xor gate okay this is the xor gate and this is the xor gate okay and this is b3 this is b2 and b1 and this is b0 okay and another signal is this is the c signal okay you will consider this c signal okay because if this is going to be zero simply it will take the value of again b0 uh, pardon me for this thing b0 again you need to be take this thing k forward one this thing here and this thing here so this is simply c if it is zero c is going to be zero okay if c is going to be zero so what is going to be you are going to be positive value you are going to take the positive value over here okay if it is coming uh one so it means it act as a subtractor okay this is c is going to be one over here again you will get minus b okay here minus 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 so whatever the output will come you can write it down here only so how you can write it down this is this is as 3 as 2 as 1 as this is going to be zero the these s are going to be provide you the addition and again we need to be check it out the this one uh, overflow condition so how you can do this whatever the output is coming okay and again whatever this thing is coming you simply you need to be make a xor of this thing okay whatever i teach you how you can avoid this thing okay so these things you can consider over here okay so this is the c out you can consider this is the c out you can take c in. and if you will take you will get take the output z over here this z is going to be zero if it is going to be zero okay 
this is no overflow no overflow if one overflow okay so now hope you will understand this circuit if any issue is there let me know 